Hey guys, this is Thomas from Stylized Station, and this morning I thought I would just give a quick little tutorial. I know it's been a while since I've posted. Uh, I've been messing around with this piece for a while, and I added some PBR blood splatters on it, and I wanted to show you guys quickly how you could do it yourself. So let me quickly hop in and show you exactly how to do it. I've got it in my um, in my top stack here. So let's create a new, I'm going to hide this one, and create a brand new stack, and I'll show you how to do it. First, you're going to create a fill layer. Um, we're going to change the color to something pretty close, kind of bloody, but we can adjust this in a minute. And then we're going to right click, add black mask so that it hides it. And then we're going to right click with the black mask selected and add fill. Now, from this fill, we're going to be able to add a grunge map into the grayscale. So we're going to go over to grunges and we're going to pick what we want. So what did I use in this one? Grunge leaks. I think I most messed around with it in a while, for a while to get the effect I wanted. So let's look for leaks. Typically leaks are the best ones for blood. Grunge leaks spots, grunge leaks small, and grunge leaks. So let's throw this one on and see what it looks like. So um, it looks okay, but not great. So the cool thing about PBR materials is that you can mess with the balance and the contrast. So what we're going to do is if you don't want a completely splattered, um, completely splattered shield, we're going to pull the balance back just so we've got some nice little blood splatter across the top. And this is looking pretty similar to what I have before. Now it's a little flat. Right, so this doesn't look super realistic. Typically, blood's very thick and it coagulates as it starts to dry. So, we're going to make sure that the height channel is open. And then, in the height channel, if you watch closely, we're just going to bump up the height just a little bit here. That's a little too much. Just a little bit, just so we start to get that ambient occlusion on the actual blood. And as you can see, we've now got that nice thick blood. Now this is a little too bright as blood starts to dry, it gets darker and darker. And I th I'd like to think this has been on here for quite a while. So we're going to drop the blood down a little more, maybe a bit. Yeah, I like that. Nice and black, just like that. And if you want to go for a more stylized look, what you can do is raise the roughness just a little bit. So as you can see, when, when I raise the roughness, it just takes the sheen off. So let's raise, it was about here. So let's raise the roughness to here. Yeah, that looks really nice. And that's pretty much it. From here, you can kind of mess around with um, adding maps and kind of changing the grunge and see, seeing what works for you. I found just in this example, this one worked really nicely with the shield and it kind of warps around. Um, one more thing I would recommend is just to right click again and add a level. And from here, if you want to pull the contrast in a little bit, I'd grab the gamma. Let's get nice and close and then just pull that in and see these empty spots here. It just starts to fill them in so you can get even an even thicker effect. And from there, that is how you add blood. A very, very simple way to add a blood mask to anything, to your weapons. You can use this on swords, people, whatever you want. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. I know this is a really simple one. I'll be coming out with some more tutorials later. Until the next video, I'll see you later.